Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Key Cowboys starter predicted to likely bolt Dallas, set to leave. The latest Dallas Cowboys rumors offer speculation that starting safety J. Ron Curse may leave in free agency. Bleacher reports Alex Ballantyne breaks down some of the Cowboys' most regrettable decisions at the trade deadline. The analyst believes the front office should have dealt Curse since the safety is set to leave Dallas. Dallas opted not to make a move at the deadline despite other NFC contenders like the Eagles, 49ers, and Seahawks making significant trades. Ballantyne argues that Curse is a strong candidate to leave the Cowboys following the season. But his time with the Cowboys could be coming to a close, Ballantyne details in his November 8, 2023 column, Decisions the Cowboys Should Regret One Week After Trade Deadline. He's set to be a free agent in 2024, and Dan Quinn has developed several other safeties who are capable of absorbing the snaps that would be vacated by Curse's departure. Earlier in the season Curse was on the field for every defensive snap. Since the bye week, he's seen a reduction in those snaps. Donovan Wilson and Malik Hooker are playing more than Curse, with Wanya Thomas waiting in the wings, Ballantyne continues. Curse is a good player, but the Cowboys had an opportunity to trade from a position of strength to either address a need or get more draft picks. With Curse set to leave in free agency, it might have been wise to see what they could get for him. Curse is in the final season of a two year, $10 million contract. The safety has a $4 million salary and $6.1 million cap hit for 2023. The counter to Ballantyne's argument is Curse is unlikely to have had a great deal of trade value. The defender has just months remaining on his deal and has had his worst season of his career, per pro football focus. Curse grades at a 51.9 out of 100 through the first nine weeks of the season. This is down considerably from the 70.2 grade Curse earned in 2022. If the Cowboys view things similarly as PFF, there might be plenty of reasons to allow Curse to walk. Curse has 37 tackles, three pass deflections, one interception, and a sack in eight appearances this season. Given the decline in production, Dallas could also look to re sign Curse at a reduced rate. Dallas faces plenty of decisions on a number of additional key players set to hit free agency. And you, fan, what do you think of the Jaron Curse situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.